Hey everyone, we're doing some hydraulic conductivity testing today. So I'm gonna show you how I'm setting everything up. Got a barrel logger here, and we've got a few level loggers here. This is gonna stay roughly ground level of all the wells. And these are gonna be dropped into the wells and kept there for 24 hours. Both are gonna be taking pressure measurements and with those data, we're gonna be able to figure out how quickly water's moving in the soil in the ground. Got the program open here. Gonna set up the barrel logger time measurements. I'm gonna put it on the reader. It's gonna log in here and then I'm going to set the time measurements to be the same with each of these. So the level loggers readings are set. I'm just measuring out the length of the rope that I've got to attach to the level logger so that it sits just off the bottom of the well there. Okay, so the level logger is in the well hide it off here. I'm going to leave it for five minutes and let it stabilize its readings. While I was waiting for the well to stabilize after dropping the level logger in, I've measured out the proper slug length to keep the bottom of the slug at least half a meter away from the top of the level logger so they don't hit each other. Now I'm going to tie off the slug string here and then that way when I drop in the slug it'll be at the perfect height. Okay so slug and level logger are both in now both tied off at the right depth. I'm just gonna place the j-plug loosely on there. Put the cap back on and leave it for 24 hours. I'll be back tomorrow to pull them up download the data and see what it looks like. For the hydraulic conductivity test at this well, because the water level is actually still within the screen, we're gonna do a pump test or a purge test, they call it, and as opposed to a slug test, which is roughly the same thing, except that instead of dropping a slug in the well, I'm going to be purging it out with the tubing into the bucket and then measuring how much water I've pulled out. So the level logger is in the well, tied off. So I've got my tubing here. I've marked it at 4.9 meters. That line is going to go at the top of the well casing. So when I lower down the tubing, the bottom of the tubing doesn't hit the top of the level logger. And then I'll turn on the pump and pump the water out. Once that five minutes is up, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pull the tubing out of the well. I'm going to put the J-plug on top and leave it for 24 hours and come back and see what the data says. So I'm back on site. This is 24 hours later, just collecting the level loggers and the barrel loggers. I hit the barrel logger here yesterday. So it's been collecting ground level barometric pressure data. I'm gonna be collecting the rest of the level loggers, bringing them back to the office and downloading the data.